This was one of the best purchases I ever did, especially for working on guitars. Oscillating drum center. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Be ever impressive. But never duplicate. Duplicate. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Right now you're looking at the Trooper. I'm not going to call it an Epiphone anymore. It may be a donor Epiphone body, but the rest of it is not. So this is what it's going to look like when it's together. And this will have a nice gloss finish to it. Right now I sanded it down smooth. Because this is actually going to get a clear coat. Even though there is an epoxy on top of this, I'm still going to clear coat it. The body is pretty much ready to go as far as paint-wise goes. The back of the guitar and the sides are going to be painted black. The headstock, uh, well, you can see what's already on the headstock, but the back of the neck is going to be natural. I'm going to have to sand that down and get that thing you know, where it needs to be as far as smooth as goes before I hit it with the clear coat and then mask off this neck. After I do some fret work on it, that needs to be done as well. So the body has been already routed out for everything that needed to be cut into the body, exception of the mounts for the uh, neck and a couple of holes for some wires to go through from one from the post for the bridge and then one from the pickup cavity over to the control area. That has to be done yet. But otherwise, you know, this thing is, this thing's going to look nice. This thing's going to be pretty good. And uh, yeah. So there is a, there's a veneer on the back of this. There was a veneer on the front. I sanded that down because I needed to take some material off the top of this thing. But there's also a veneer on the back of this thing. Why? I don't know. Um, seems like a waste to have put one here. And I still left some of the sanding sealer of the wood on the back of this thing. Um, I also have some artwork that I'm going to be putting on the back. That, that'll be done later on. So my neck pocket is not like overly tight but it's snug enough to where uh, I can't pick the guitar up and I don't recommend doing that but it is snug enough to where it shouldn't do anything as far as breaking on the side over here so right now she is pretty much good I wanted to use the Mohawk tone it's a tone finish lacquer sanding sealer well the problem with this is this is lacquer and what the saying goes is you could spray anything on lacquer, but you can't spray lacquer on everything. And what happens is it acts like a paint remover, and I don't know what it'll do with this epoxy resin, considering lacquer kind of softens like plastic. And uh, yeah, I don't want anything to happen with this. The edges have been beveled and sanded, so it has a little bit of a round over, front, top, and bottom. Um... Yeah, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to mix up some epoxy resin and use that as my sanding sealer. And what I'm going to do is use a sponge applicator, kind of like a, it, it's almost like a paintbrush. Use a sponge applicator to put it on so it'll go on nice and thin. It'll get into all the grooves of the body. I don't have to worry about anything dripping off or, or making a mess any place. Uh, really, all I want to do is just coat this thing with a very thin coat, enough just to seal up the wood and make it to where it's going to be, um, you know, like a paint over it. The paint that I'm using is uh, a Krylon paint. It is the primer in paint. This is going to be sprayed black. And yeah, this thing is like nice, nice and flat. Really nice and flat. Now, I don't want to put any more epoxy on here. I think I'm done with that. Um, although, let's see here. Put the neck back on. Make sure that's down. No, that's pretty good. I'm not up too high. And that'll give me enough room to where uh, I have adjustment here. I can actually go up and down. But yeah, this thing's going to look sweet when uh, it gets finished. That headstock came out really good. Uh, thank, you, thank you guys for picking the left. Uh, sorry, the right guys. Um, all the, I think the left room one on that. So what I'm going to do with this is sand this down here, sand this too. I'm going to drill out the holes for the control for the tuners. Get rid of whatever epoxy is on, you know, the, on the wood itself. Uh, with some sanding, remove you know whatever tape is on here. Pop this nut off of here because I'm going to replace that nut, and I'm going to end up uh, sealing this with the 
um, 2K clear coat by Max Spray or Spray Max, something like that. So let me get back into this thing and get this thing started with the sealing process.